can get really hurt if you just have that dangling like then you lose toes fingers even your life with heavy equipment if something goes wrong it usually is not pretty i just take a knife and start ripping it up just go to town on it that's how I made all of my kids. There you go. Twice. Well, we got one in the same then. <laughs> We're gonna start a second video right now. Next time I turn the camera on, it's gonna be the intro to the stump grinder. All right, guys, I'm at Top Notch Equipment and we are renting a stump grinder today. But Dustin, I just wanted to ask you some questions. Yeah. You started, you guys have started to rent stuff out. Yep. Do you rent everything? Everything that you pretty much see on our lot. We now have a, a dedicated rental fleet. Okay. So, like this uh, stump grinder, we do a wood chipper, skid steers, the stingers, uh, mowers, all the lifts, everything. So we all have dedicated rental fleet only stuff. Now we're gonna take this one home. Yep. How does this work? Okay, pretty, pretty this, simple. What brand is this? This is a Rayco and... Uh, is this a good brand? I don't yeah. know a lot about stump crank. I, I started my business before even I owned any of this. I was, I owned a, I, well I still do own a stump grinding business. And Rayco was the first brand that I, that I bought in 1998. This is your throttle right here. So just hold that and it'll idle up. Your speed carrier uh, driving, so we're on rabbit speed. Pretty simple. This lever is your forward and reverse, and this is your steer. So, just like that. Okay. And then when you're going to go into uh, the work mode, so now you got direct view of your stump that you're grinding, so you can see if there's a rock in there, so you're protected at this point. Yep. yep. You want to unroll that. And then basically you got your swipe, and then you're up and down. Greasable head? Greasable head. Uh, and then how do you grease the head? What's the grease okay. procedure like? So, I like, I always tell everybody to grease your stump grinder heads once a day uh, or every eight hours. It's got a greaser um, right, right there. there. Okay. Yep. Pump it twice. You don't want to over grease it because you're doing it every day. Um, the dirt and all that stuff will work. That's how I made all of my kids. There you Just go. Pump it twice. Well, we got one in the same then. <laughs> all right. And then uh, is this actually adjustable? Yep. yep. So this is your dozer blade. So if you're working at a residential area or you just kind of do basic cleanup, just drop the blade, hydraulically powered, and just put your stumps and chips back in the hole. Nice. Um, where do you top it off at? It's a Kubota gas engine. On it. So if you get a Rayco, they also have them in diesel though? Diesel. They do have them in diesel as well. Make sure if you're renting one, you know. Yeah, know what you're talking about. You know about. what fuel you're putting in, because Oops! Oops! <laughs> Oops goes a long way. I would have put it in the right fuel. <laughs> so the reason I so carefully point that out is I had an employee that had worked for me for years running my equipment, and I made the mistake one day of saying to him, hey, go gas up the skid loader. And he took the skid loader that he'd been running for years, and it was a diesel skid loader, and he put gas in it. And when I hopped in it, it's spitting and sputtering and instantly I knew what was going on with the machine. And I'm like, did you put gas in the skid loader? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, why did you put gas in the skid loader? And he said, because you said gas up the skid loader. Now that's not scary. That's just eye opening. And that's when I realized that surrounding yourself with yes men, guys that agree with everything you do is not helpful in any way, shape, or form. The actual scariest person I ever had work for me, his name was Razor. And he was an enforcer for a motorcycle gang. And not just a little motorcycle gang, one of the big national motorcycle gangs that you probably know the name of. And I'm not gonna say the name of this because I don't want these guys coming after me in any way, shape, or form. 
This guy, Razor, was legitimately scary, but for some reason, I just liked him. He was just a character. But I, the writing was on the wall. I should have known that it was never going to work out because my, an average conversation with Razor would go like this. Stan! Yeah, Razor? You know, if you got a neighbor's dog that's barking too much, you know how you take care of that? No, what do you do, Razor? Go knock on the door and tell the neighbor to shut their dog up? No, you take a sponge and you soak it in beef juice. And then you throw that sponge to the dog. And what it'll do is it'll expand in the dog's stomach and kill him. They'll be dead by morning. I'm like, no, Razor, that's not how you do it. You just go knock on the door and say, hey, can you shut your dog up? And then the next conversation would start with something like, Stan! Yeah, Razor? You know how you get rid of a dead body? No, Razor, I have no clue. How do you get rid of a dead body? You wrap it in chain link fence and then you throw that body in the bottom of a river because what will happen is the chain link will make the body sink to the bottom of the river and then all the fish and turtles can pick at it and eat all the flesh off from it and then it won't be identifiable. Legitimately, these were my daily, daily conversations with Razor and Eventually, I had to let Razor go, and that was scary. I am talking about when you have to fire someone like Razor, you do it very carefully and in a public place, legitimately. I made sure that when I had to finally let Razor go, there were a lot of people around just in case. But now it's your turn. Have you ever worked with somebody that was kind of scary or <laughs> was a character in some way, shape, or form? I'd love to hear your stories. Now let's get back into this stump grinder. All right. Well, we'll load her up and uh, stump grind some stump. Yeah, let's have some fun. All right. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Some grinding day. We've got a new stump grinder that we're borrowing from Top Notch Equipment. Um, I'm gonna put, pop in the footage I've got from those guys. We got Pumpkin following along, going along. You gonna be supervised today, Pumpkin? Pumpkin, you gonna supervise? Meow, 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 meow. I gotta clean up the ditch. I gotta get the water to flow. We've got a broken culvert. We're fixing that while we're fixing that. Zach's putting some tools and stuff here away. Do you care if I adjust them? Adjust them so they don't puncture holes in the brand new tarp building. Just let it be fine. Or just take a knife and start ripping it up, Zach. Just go to town on it. It's like I'm just gonna loosen them and just slide it down. So. All right, so uh, when you're done doing whatever it is you do around here. Uh, I'm gonna get all that cleaned up over there so that way that whole section right there is gonna get all those attached. Well, lots going on today. It's a, this really is about sure. a, this is about a stump grinder. You came here to see a stump grinder. We're gonna stump grind. We just got some stuff to do before we can stump grind. Zach, take care of these guys. <laughs> I think I got everything moved. Everything's from over here. Grapple there. Other grapples over here. There, there and some other stuff moved into the woodshed. <coughs> now on to stump grinding. Uh, Raycon, looks like command cut. It, it, uh, uh, RG55, four wheel drive. These are where all your controls are. Key. These are forward and reverse. Your turning. Um, your height control. 
and then your looks like I think for the blade right here here this whole thing swings out to over here you just put that up swing it out and then from here unfold this and then you work back and forth on the stump but we'll get more to that later and then we just gotta put a little bit of grease into there or just to make sure we got grease on the whatever sorry put them upside down yeah say a couple of pumps All right, now let's get this thing fired up and onto some stumps. All right, main safety tip. Always have this on you. You need to have it on like your wrist or something. So that way when your stump grain, if something happens, that pulls out. I'm assuming that automatically shuts off the machine, shuts down everything. It won't stop the blade from spinning in, in right away because that's spinning at whatever thousand RPM, or thousand RPMs or whatever. You can get really hurt if you just have that dangling like that and then something goes wrong machine moves kicks out or whatever and then then you lose toes fingers even your life with heavy equipment if something goes wrong it usually is not pretty Gonna get popped, they're all gonna get popped. You know, you're probably wondering why I would ever hire someone like Razor in the first place, and it's because I don't believe it's my job to judge a person's past, but to look at their present potential. The reason I say that like that is because I grew up dirt floor poor, meaning I had a dirt floor in one of my houses. And I was that person that kind of got looked down on. Not kind of, I did get looked down on. I could feel people just looking at my family, judging us. I mean, I remember being ashamed. I, we had a rusty van, it was terrible. And I would get dropped off at school and I would ask my mom and dad to drop me off a block before school just because I was so embarrassed of who we were and what we had. And I don't want anyone to ever feel like that. I want to give everybody a chance to become the absolute best version of themselves possible, no matter where they came from. growing up with next to nothing taught me one thing for sure and that's not to judge someone others someone else's battles or struggles and it also drove me to work harder than I ever could because I didn't want the people that I loved around me to be put into a situation that I had come from because it's it was scary. I mean, it was scary at times growing up. But after, now I'm older, one of the things I realized pretty quickly, it's not about what you know. It's not about your education. It really isn't. This life, your ultimate success, matters not what grades you got in school. But I don't think their future depends on whether they get an A or a B. It's not about what you know, 
It's about how you treat the people that you know. The most important thing that I've learned is to just treat other people good because we don't know what battles or struggles they're fighting. And all of us are fighting a battle or a struggle. And so whatever battle or struggle you're fighting, that's why I end every video by saying God bless and go get them. And what that means is I hope God blesses you in everything you do. And I hope no matter what happens in your world, you don't let anything slow you down and you go get them. So God bless and go get them, my friend.